hey guys welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in i hope you all are well if you are visiting for the first time my name is omoni and you're welcome to my channel it's been a while i posted here because a lot has been going on but i'm back and in today's video i'm going to be making a blueless lace frontal wig for my client i've made wigs for her before so this time around she wants a glueless lace frontal wig and this is the lace that i'll be using i already bleached the frontal um, to the color that she wants and i also tinted the lace to match her skin complexion so as you know in order to make a glueless lace frontal wig it is very important to know the circumference of your head so in order to take the measurement of your circumference you need a tape a measuring tape and you're going to take the tape around your head and also you want to make sure that your hair is braided into a tiny corn roll so this is the circumference of my head so I'm going to take it off so I'm going to take it off and show you guys the circumference of my head so as you can see mine is a size 22 another measurement I'll be taking is my ear to ear so my ear to ear right here you drop it here like this don't know if you guys can see it and then you go like this to the other side of your ear so that is the measurement mine is 12 inches so for this client that I'm doing her wig her circumference is 22 which is a size medium and her ear to ear is 11 inches so those measurements are very important there are other measurements that you need that you, um, you need to take but these two are very very important so when making a closure wig you really don't need the ear to ear measurements but you definitely need the circumference and also the circumference which is around your head is very important to know the cap size that you should buy and also the canvas head that you should buy so for a size 22 the canvas head is uh, of course the canvas head is 22 and the cap size is medium as you guys know lace frontal comes as 13 inches but in some cases it comes as 13 and a half sometimes 14 inches so before you resize your lace frontal it is very important to take the measurements from here to here just to make sure you have the 13 inches so if you're cutting if you're resizing it to 12 inches you already know you're taking out half an inch on both sides and if you're for example this particular one i'm resizing it to a size 11 inches right so i'll be cutting out one inch here and one inch here so i'm going to turn my camera to my table to show you guys exactly what i'll be doing so guys this is the frontal so i'm going to take the measurement like i said before just to make sure it's 13 inches so this is it I told you I told you this is very important as you can see this one is not even up to it's not up to 13 inches but let's see so this is actually 12 inches instead of 13 inches I don't know if you guys can see that so it's supposed to be 13 inches but what I have right here is 12.2 so if I didn't take this measurement before cutting the lace, I would have ended up um, having um, less than 11 inches 
um, of lace so what I'm going to do let's just say this is 12 inches and I need 11 inches so I'm going to cut out half an inch on both sides so this is how you do it Uh, no, I'm going to put it like this Half an inch is this particular place right here. So this is half an inch So This is half an inch here to here is half an inch and that is what I'll be measuring So I have my half an inch, that's it right there. So what you want to do is to, so what you want to do is to take your marker and just mark it half an inch. So this is half an inch right here. I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side. half an inch don't have to be in a hurry when doing this just take your time so you get it right so half an inch is right here I don't know if you guys see what I'm doing so that's basically the measurement for half an inch so the next thing you're going to need is your um, comb or whatever you like to do so i'm going to just separate that um half an inch I have my hot comb. <laughs> you really don't need this, but this is how I like to do it. I just use it to put this hair aside. Okay, so I already separated my half an inch on this side. I will repeat the same thing on this other side as well. So the last thing you want to do is to cut. So I'm going to use my scissors to cut. So this is half an inch that we just cut out from the lace I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side and this is the other half an inch on the other side of the lace so 
that's basically it if this was to be a 13 inches then i would have cut out one inch on both sides but because it's it's uh, 12 inches i cut out half an inch on both sides so this is 11 inches we are going to take the measurement of this one more time just to make sure we have 11 inches it's also very important i know there's barely anything we can do at this point but let's just be sh sure that we have 11 inches so as you can see um, so as you can see we have 11 inches 11 inches so that's basically how to cut or resize the lace to match your to match your head so guys this is a cap size medium and also the canvas head is medium so if your circumference is 22 the canvas head that you should use should also be a size 22 and the cap size should be a size medium just to make sure that you get it right so you don't end up making the wig and it's too big or too small so i already um, took out the extra um, cap i resized the cap to fit the canvas here as you can see there are no wrinkles nothing that the, the cap is really fitted into the canvas head because i resized it so if you want to see a detailed video on how to resize your cap to fit your head properly then i'm definitely going to be doing a video on that just make sure you let me know in the comment section below so that is it and now I'm going to place the frontal. I need pins for this. I think I'm going to have to take all these pins down because they are interrupting. Okay, so what you want to do is to fold the frontal into half. Fold it into half. Make sure it is really into half like this and then you're going to take one pin and put it in the middle like so so once you have that you're going to bring you see this line on the canvas head it is there for a reason this line actually tells you that this is the middle of the head so what you want to do is to take this pin and bring it down to three inches so you're going to measure how to know is three inches from the hairline i actually have I actually have some stains right here i actually used a marker to put point here so from here let me do it like this so from here from the neck of this canvas head to the hairline is nine inches so as you can see from here to here is nine inches let me show you guys so you know what i'm talking about where's my tape okay so this is the hairline and from this hairline to the neck it's nine inches so i have um i have a marker point right here to remind me that this is the hairline so you just measure in order to know the hairline just measure nine inches from the neck of the canvas that will tell you where your nine inches is and from there you measure three inches down so as you can see i also have 
a point right here to tell me this is three inches from the hairline so what i'm going to do now is to i'll pull the lace all the way to three inches okay so now that i have the lace like that let me turn so this is the back of the this is the back of the of the head so you're going to use another pin to hold it down at the middle of, of course and you're going to position each side after placing the pin right in the middle of the lace at the back so what you want to do next is to position each side lay really flat on the cap and another thing you want to do is to put you see this lace right here here to here so you're going to put half into the cup and half outside of the cup i don't know if that make any sense so half of it should go into the cup and the other half outside of the cup like so so we're also going to pin down this part. So I'm going to pin it down just to make sure it doesn't move. So as you can see, half outside of the cup, half inside of the cup. I'll repeat the same thing i want to make sure that it's laying flat as well as you can see mine is laying really flat so i'll repeat the same thing on this side so now that the frontal is laying really flat on the canvas head or on the head because this is a head okay so we're going to sew it uh, from one end to the other starting from the middle so i don't know how you plan on making your wig if you are going to be hand stitching or um, using a sewing machine i will be using a sewing machine but it doesn't really matter how you choose to make your wig the method is still the same then I tell her me she give and never trust another nigga. I say she give me on the nigga. Say she feeling on the nigga. Say she run another nigga. I who's that? Baby, tell me who's that? Look back, baby, make ya look back. I move that. Where ya move that? Touch that, baby, me just wanna touch that. Enter me radar. Now you they mash up the place. I enter me radar. Cause you are what see me radar. So guys, I'm done sewing both sides down and this is what it looks like. It's laying really flat and all that so the next thing i'm going to do is to draw my guidelines so in order to draw my guidelines i'm also going to be using the tape once more so what you want to do if you're doing if you're sewing this on a sewing machine what you want to do is to draw one inch on is to draw one inch on each side
So if you're doing it on a sewing machine, so you want to draw one inch on the cap. But if you're going to be hand stitching, if you're going to be hand stitching and doubling your weft, or if you're going to be doubling your weft in general, so you can draw one inch on the cap. But if you want to do single track, I recommend that you draw half an inch instead of one inch. So this is it. You don't know. Batman. And the next thing you want to do is to sew. So if you want to hand stitch, you know what to do. You just lay your tracks, make sure the track is laying really flat and then you sew. And if you're using a sewing machine, you already know what to do as well. Take off the cap and sew down. So guys, as you can see, the wig is glueless so see how tight it is you can wear this without any glue or spray okay as long as you have your right measurement and you attach your elastic band then you should be fine so that's basically it for this video and like i said this video is divided into two parts the first part is when I took the measurements, the adjusting of the, did we adjust the cap? I can't remember if we adjusted the cap, but the uh, measurements, the guidelines, um, sewing down of the frontal, I think that was the first part. And the second part is sewing it down on the sewing machine and also attaching an elastic band so yeah i'm going to link each of the videos in my description box below in case you guys are interested thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys and i'll see you all in my next one bye guys